Hi, I'm Pete from Gear for Music, and today we're checking out the brand new GX100 Multi Effects from Boss. I'm going to play through a few of the sounds and explain why we think the GX100 is Boss's easiest to use multi effects ever. <laughs> So I've been having a bit of a play and first impressions are really good. As you'd expect from Boss, the effect sounds are really great, the amp models sound really great and crucially feel really good to play. Boss have been making multi effects for a very long time now so they kind of know what they're doing. This unit's using the same AIRD technology that we find in the flagship GT1000, but it's significantly less expensive. It's still got the same kind of look of the GT1000. We've got the sort of nice spacious foot switches, big expression pedal on there. So we should take a look at what makes this unit different from the GT1000. <laughs> So the really big deal here is that the GX100 has a touchscreen interface, the first time we've ever seen this on a Boss Multi Effects. Touchscreens generally on Multi Effects aren't new, we've seen them on the likes of the Headrush pedal board, Neural DSP, things like that, but this is the first time that Boss have embraced this technology. So if you're used to using any smart device, you're going to feel right at home with the GX100. This is a super simple interface to use, you can literally just drag and drop your effects blocks to create or edit patches really quickly and easily. Essentially, you're going to spend more time playing and less time scrolling through menus. Goes without saying as well, this is a boss product, so there's no need to worry about taking it out and gigging it. This screen is going to be made out of pretty tough stuff. Also, if you are gigging, pressing and holding the exit button for two seconds, locks the screen, locks all the dials, you're not going to accidentally adjust anything in the heat at the moment. Another really useful feature for getting the most out of the GX100 is the designated in and out settings button. So what this allows you to do is optimize the technology of the GX100 for whatever guitar you're playing. Different guitars have different output levels, so whether you're using humbuckers, single coils, or even active pickups, you can set the input level on the GX100 to suit your guitar and really get the best sounds out of the unit. You can store up to 10 presets, so whatever guitar you're using, you're going to have something that's ready to go. GX100 features 23 different high quality preamps for guitar and bass, over 150 different effects, including effects that are using Boss's multi-dimensional processing, and users can import their own impulse responses. The really cool thing about the GX100 is that there's no fixed effects chain. What this means is that users can add whatever effect type they like anywhere in a chain, giving you total flexibility. There's plenty of DSP on tap too, so you can add up to 15 effects types at once, anywhere in any chain. Obviously, as with any multi-effects, the GX100 is packed with presets and the Boss ones all tend to be pretty usable, there's nothing too crazy on there. But just to show how easy the GX100 is to use, I'm going to try and set up a patch that I would use on a gig as quickly as possible. So I started out by initialising a blank patch and then using the GX100's manual mode, which is how I prefer to use multi-effects like this, 
I added a plexi style amp. Then on my number one button here, I'll give you the plexi sound first. On the number one button here, I've put a Tube Screamer style overdrive. The number two button gives me a bit of chorus. And on number three, I've got a really basic analog delay. And that's a patch that'll get me through most gigs. Your mileage may vary. So if we take a look at the back of the unit, we can see what connectivity options we've got. And there's a bit of a first on the back here too. Got everything that we would kind of expect of a multi-effect at this level. So we've got stereo out, headphone out for silent practice. We've also got an effects loop on here. So if there are any standalone pedals or anything that you really want to keep in your setup, you can add them into the effects loop. You can also use the effects loop to run the GX100 in four cable method. We've got amp control there, additional expression pedals and things like that full MIDI in and out. And under this little cover here is where things get interesting. What you can do with this is connect Boss's BT Dual Bluetooth adapter, which will then let you connect the GX100 to Boss's Tone Studio app on your smart device and control the GX100 from there. So you can basically leave the GX100 on the floor, under your desk or whatever if you're recording, edit all your sounds wirelessly from your smart device. Another great feature of the BT Dual is that it allows you to stream Bluetooth audio through the GX100. So if you want to play along to your favorite songs, if you want to play along to YouTube lessons, anything like that, straight out through your headphones or whatever, just makes everything as easy as it can possibly be. So as well as Bluetooth connectivity, there's also a USB out on the back of the GX100. This means that you can plug into your GX100, USB out from that straight into your computer and record straight into your DAW, easy as that. So all this probably gives us a bit of an idea as to who the GX100 is aimed at. The GT1000 is still gonna be the flagship boss multi-effects but if you maybe don't need something as comprehensive and possibly slightly intimidating as the GT1000, I think the GX100 is a great place to look. You've got pretty much all of the sound quality of the GT1000, but out of the box, the GX100 is much quicker and easier to find your way around. And you can get creating your own sounds and playing in no time. I think the big thing about the GX100 is that it really helps inspire you to actually play the guitar or bass and actually make music, rather than getting tied in technical knots and getting lost in menus and manuals. If you're comfortable using a smart device, and let's be honest these days, who isn't? I think you're gonna really enjoy getting to grips with the GX100. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.